Hi Scorpio. Welcome to my channel guys. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Thank you so much for contributing into this channel for your support. Um I want to give you a little update on um, my husband. He's still in the hospital. Um he's still getting dialysis. Uh he has another surgery that's coming up. Um he's still not feeling too good. Um they want to put him in physical therapy. Um yeah, he's still not a hundred percent. So you know, we're praying for that. Um, if you guys go want to go ahead and donate, can you please go, donate to the GoFundMe? Um, my moderators, can you guys put it on the on the chat? Thank you so much. Now, the case about my PayPal, I know I got a lot of emails asking for personal readings, and I'm so grateful, guys, because I really do need you know the funds. Um, the problem with that is I haven't been able to receive, um, not receive, my PayPal had something connected to my bank account and there was like a fraud in my bank account. So I had to put my uh, PayPal temporary blocked right now, but I do have a solution. If you guys want to get a personal reading and you guys want to pay for the personal reading, you can definitely go ahead and go um, pay through the GoFundMe. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take everybody's email that had emailed me for a personal reading and i'm going to send you that link if you guys want a personal reading i'm more than happy to do it again but it will have to go through my gofundme um um how you say app okay or application i want to say thank you so much welcome my new subscribers and my old subscribers we definitely are growing as a family um i want to say um i am a spiritual psychic medium teacher I get the messages from the Divine Holy Spirit and the Archangels, okay? Those of you who have been following me know who I am, and definitely I'm Queen Goddess of Thor, all right? Um, so let's get started. You know in this channel, we always talk about some things, right? Um, so Scorpio, you are the bait, okay? I heard God said, you have been the bait. You are the bait to these narcissists. You are the bait to these people that are, are jealous and have um, envious of you or envious of anybody. And this is how God is testing and judging their heart. You have been put into this planet as a beautiful angel that don't have no ill intention or hurt feelings to nobody. You're not the type of person to be fighting or arguing. Or if somebody does something to you, you'd be like, okay, I'll let God handle that. You're not a retaliating person i don't even know if that's a little word you don't retaliate mm -hmm. so you have been a bait okay you are the bait to these people that are causing you to bring you these magics these spell work okay narcissistic it's like your bait and god will always have your back because you are working for him this is the only way he will know people's heart because the way they treat you okay also People keep saying, can you please, you know, the divine, he's amazing. Father is amazing. He loves you, right? But, but please don't keep asking Jesus to come. <laughs> Everybody keeps saying, please let God come. We need Jesus. No, you don't. You can save yourself. You have the power to do that. You have the power to create your own ability. You have the, the power to create your own happiness. And you got the power to create your heaven on earth. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I love my father, Yeshua HaMashiach, in Ki'ia, right? But if he does come back, don't think that he's coming with love. Don't think that he's coming with, oh, I'm going to save you. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. He's coming back, he's coming as a wrath. He's coming back, he's coming as the devil. I'm not saying that God is the devil. Well, the God in the Bible is, but remember, they're all connected because, you know, the devil, Satan works, um, is an agent of the most high God, right? We all connected no matter what, okay? You can't have the good with the bad and the bad with the good, right? You can't have, you have to have a balance. So if you decide, we're already here, okay? Jesus is already here. His children are already on the earth. You are the meek that will inherit the earth, okay? Um, so stop asking Father to please come back when we're already here because if he come back all hell's gonna break loose to these negative energy people these people that are narcissistic these uh enemies of yours 
they're already going to get judged no matter what but the time that he really comes will be the end of the world and it will be the end of everybody okay um i don't know if you ever heard um seen that movie ward of the world or the world of the war or something like that with tom with tom cruise well that's your rapture okay the rapture people keep saying oh the rapture is gonna happen the, the rapture is within everything is within everything is spiritual baby okay nothing is really physical unless it manifests in the physical but everything has to happen first in the spiritual so your your rapture is within right this is when you're going to come into ascension and you're going to have your higher self come inside of you and then the higher self is going to look outside within your body and it's look it's going to look around right and then it's going to go back into your body and then leave again right but this rapture thing that people keep talking about, that was implemented in 1600s, all right? There was never really a rapture, right? And, um, but the rapture that will happen for those people that want Yeshua to come back will be aliens, mm -hmm. all right? They're coming to suck up your energy and they're coming to suck up your blood. I know guys don't like to talk about that stuff, but I'm very spiritual. I'm here to bring you divine messages. And this is what he wants you to know. Yes, have a relationship with him. Love him. Talk to him. You know, be in his presence. Chosen one. You are his choos your ch His children. And that's why he don't like nobody fucking with you. All right? Um, here, I'm a Scorpio, so I tell you how it is. I don't sugarcoat anything. You know how I am. And um, and God wanted you to, to know the truth, right? Because people's always saying that he's love, love, love. Yeah, he is all loving. Uh, caring compassion understanding and he's very patient but when that patient runs out look i got confirmation when that patient come, runs out what happens wrath judgment karma you are the bait okay so let's go ahead and get some messages here i love you guys welcome to this beautiful channel that god created okay um really 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 are very important for me that you guys are here and understanding the truth of God and um, I know that the Bible talks a lot of good things and bad things but remember also that the God of the Bible is Yahweh which is Emilio which is the opposite the brother of Inkiya and the most high is Arno and how you know that Amalia because I'm Ishtar that's why all right, babies. So let's get some messages here. The angel's already coming out. Archangel Michael is already speaking to me. Uh, and that's the reason why I can't really be showing my face like that, okay? Because I'm a target. All right, guys. So let's see what messages we have. So definitely, because of these people have a lot of ego, Scorpio. Um, yeah, definitely something of having a lot of ego here. Um, somebody try to get away with this ego or the jealousy or envy. Um, def definitely people think that they are getting away with this situation. Maybe back then, yeah, right? Maybe back then they were able to stomp you, hurt you, make you cry. You know what I'm saying? Hurt you in some way, like cheating on you or just breaking your heart, right? For some situations, some of you guys definitely had lost your spirit. Right? This was to the point that people that was involved in your life um, was put by, you know, by Satan, right? To destroy your spirit, right? To break your spirit. And <sighs> Satan is just a, Satan is not just one person. Satan is a group of leaders, all right? Uh, so if you guys say Satan, oh, Satan is one person. No, Satan is a group of leaders. Okay, this could be the elite, Illuminati, Freemason, whatever. I'm not going to talk too much because I could go deeper. But what I do see is these people could be very jealous and envious of you because of your light. All right? Um, and they think that they got away with whatever it is that they were trying to do to you. But unfortunately, they, they didn't. Okay? They didn't. This could have been an Aquarius. Or you could have Aquarius in your chart because you definitely are a star here. Um, this could have been a lover, right? A divine connection that you thought was a divine connection. But this situation 
could have been someone that will hurt you and then they will say i need you a loving baby or i want to be with you and they thought that they would get away with it um i do see that a lot of them are moving on because obviously they are pretty angry of not being able to destroy you or not being able to destroy your spirit now because of your awakening right because god and the angels have always been around you oh again your mic was right here like behind me and it's like they always guiding us, right? They always guiding us to the right destination, the right direction. If they feel like in, in, in the place where you are right now, Scorpio, like in your um city, your state, your country, if the angel or divine feel like you are a threat or something is 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 you in danger, they're definitely gonna tell you to move to another state. You're gonna be moving back and forth, back and forth until you know that you're safe somewhere. And, they, you know, and God is, that's the way he, he protects you. He makes you move. <laughs> you know, he's not just going to have you somewhere and just cover you. He could do that. But sometimes, sometimes the enemy gets too close to you to the point that, hey, you need to get out of that state. Okay. That's how, that's how he protected you. When Jesus was born, right? Yeshua was born in Kiyah. Um, then the angel told him, hey, you need to move to Bethlehem. Or you have to leave out of Jerusalem or something like that, right? Um, well, this is exactly what I'm trying to tell you. That's why that he had to move. He had to go somewhere. So that was the only way he was being protected. Anyways, so a lot of people are moving on because they thought they got away with it and they're very angry, okay? Um, this could have been an Aquarius that was very jealous or envious of you, all right? But I do see that there could be a union coming together with you all right this don't have to be a lover this don't have to be a romantic situation this could be you and god getting into union or this could be you and your ascension higher self coming together in your body so this is the incarnation right in the same body i don't know how i don't know if you guys understand me but anyways um so you have multiple ascensions here okay let me just move on because i'm getting too many messages all right so some of you guys are moving on some of you guys are definitely moving to a new house all right you're definitely moving to a new house some of you guys have been praying for this or you've been manifesting this right and um and i feel like you are moving okay some of you guys are definitely moving to a new house buying a new house or being approved for this beautiful house all right this could be an aquarius this could be you having aquarius in your chart or this could be a jealous person that could be an Aquarius that they thought they got away with their ego and um, being jealous and envious towards you, trying to like ignore you, right? Try to pretend to ignore you when in reality they know that you was the light here, okay? A lot of messages came through. Still got a lot of messages in my head. All right, we're, we're going to hold that. We're going to hold it. All right. Guys, please keep up with the life, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Keep up with the life. Message for Scorpio. Uh, message for Scorpio. Message for Scorpio. Home. Thank you, angels. Thank you, Divine, for showing up and letting me know exactly. Courage. Message to Scorpio. Grief. Imagination. Weeper. <laughs> okay. All right, Scorpio. So, Father, Mother already showing up. Father, Mother already showing up. I want to let you know that you are a rebirth. You're having a rebirth, which is that ascension, right? Which is that higher self coming down from heaven, um, from the spiritual realm into your physical body. Like, thank you for, thank you for the confirmation. All right, so you got father and mother here. This is you. You are coming down in your DNA into your physical body, and you're having a rebirth. Okay, Scorpio, of course. Scorpio, death and rebirth, a new beginning, a new start. You did it. You remember who you are now embrace your new life okay so embrace your new life because you are here to create the new earth here all right children of god the meek all right you're already at home earth is your home yeah we don't belong here because we are not from here but now we are here so we belong here <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like you did it you know where your home is the kingdom of heaven is inside of you 
So the kingdom of heaven is already inside of you. Everything is inside of you. Everything operates through the inside of you. There's nothing outside of you. You cannot worship God from the outside. God, God is not someone that you have to worship outside of himself, right? He would never worship outside of himself. So you worshiping a God from the Bible is telling you that you are worshiping Satan, all right? Because he wants you to worship him like God. God would never tell you that. Okay? He would never tell you, bow down on your knees and pray for me. I mean, or worship me. No, because you already house the spirit of God inside your physical body. You are God walking among the earth. Okay? Um, you definitely are a perse uh, perseverance. So, you know that you can do whatever you set your mind to be able to achieve. Why? Because you got the Christ consciousness mindset okay you got your father's mindset the expansions the sp expansion the awareness the consciousness right and you are very courageous okay i just heard the bride of christ you are very courageous you find the inner strength to face the fear with confidence all right and you definitely come from the breath of god right uh breathe breathe in and breathe out remember every problem has a solution and you can fix it all right so some of you guys definitely have to imagine yourself, okay? Embrace and nourish the creative aspect of your mind. And who I can do or what you can do with it, right? So God is telling you, you're already home, all right? You don't need me to come over here to earth, <laughs> which he will one day, right? Um, but right now, we're already here. <laughs> the Yeshua's are here, okay? His children are here. And that's the reason why he created you. He created you to be here, to be a bait, okay? A bait towards these narcissists and these people um, to see and test their heart, all right? Um, so, yeah, we're going to leave it like that. So, yeah, just imagine what you create with your mind because you have that mindset here, Scorpio, okay? you're different you come from uh from the from a different galaxy you you do right you come from the fifth dimension or the ninth dimension right but the problem is you came here to be incarnated to help humanity evolved that is your purpose and that is your mission you're here to awaken them to understand that we all could get along as being humans and aliens right hybrid aliens here okay oh, that's what i said that's what i heard um, I know a lot of people could be going through some, 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 somebody's trying to come through. They don't let me speak. Hold on. Okay. Holy Spirit, what would you like to say? So a lot of changes are coming to people, right? They don't expect these changes because they've been living their life the way they want to. They've been very reckless, sleeping around with other people, sleeping with men and men, men men and women and women, women, women and men and transgender to transgender, whatever. I'm hearing this is a whole mess. All right. I feel like I said that's a whole mess. But changes are coming. You definitely are a change. Anybody that comes uh, uh, in your presence, I heard, will have a, 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 a an experience that they would never feel before because you are the catalyst. You are the bait. You are here for the change. 555 five, five is going to be very significant for you today or tomorrow. Um, pay attention to that number. You're going to see that number along the way of these changes. Okay, a lot of people need to pray because what's coming is not pretty. Karma is hitting people asses, all right? Because now they're starting to see their heart and they're judging their heart right now. So people need to pray. Not pray, but at least repent. Ask for forgiveness, right? And not ask for forgiveness to you. But at least of God, because you are the representation of a father. You definitely could be a serious star, see, okay? You're very sensitive here, Scorpio. 
Um, some of you guys could be very sensitive. Syrian starseeds are very, very loving, very caring. They hold a lot of emotions um, and very sensitive to the world, to humanity, right? So that could be you. All right. Some of you guys are definitely detoxing yourself from negative energy, negative people, also food, um, things that no longer is high vibrational fruits, fruits, vegetables. You guys are definitely um, eating your, taking your vitamins here, I heard. Okay. So definitely you have to change your system as well because your, your system and your DNA is changing, right? And it's changing for the better because you are changing within, not without. Okay. Remember, nothing is outside of you. Everything is within. Um, and I feel like God is saying you are moving to the highest chakra. Number nine could be very significant for you guys. You could have been born on the ninth, right? And some of you guys could definitely love the color blue or green. That could be because look, the Syrians is blue and green. So some of you guys could definitely love blue and green, or that could be like your blue. You that's that's definitely your soul blueprint and total skills ability to learn life in all times. So some of you guys definitely have been traveling in time. And this could be also uh, traveling because you are a multidimensional being here, Scorpio. You've been traveling many, many centuries to many different planets, okay? You landed on Earth because you have a mission and a purpose. You're here to help and evolve hum humanity. You definitely are have the Ascended Masters, the Holy Trinity, um, answering your prayers here, okay? Whatever it is that you went through, they're understanding, hey, that you always needed help or guidance or assistance. You started to see 333 three, three. that's definitely the ascended masters that let and then you know hey people's gonna have to pray because of what they did to you right because you are a bait <laughs> you were poor okay you ever seen um you ever seen like somebody that they put somebody in the middle and and it's like they have the like okay for example if you see a woman dressed in red and she's so beautiful and she's like, oh my gosh, she's so amazing. And people want her and they want her so bad. But, um, and she's the most amazing, wonderful person, right? Male, female, don't matter. And you're so loving and kind and sweet, right? You, you don't hurt nobody. But as long as somebody try to take advantage of you, boom, you, you turn into this evil type of, the Grand Reaper, <laughs> Right, but it's not you. It's God that's doing that. It's, it's the divine that's actually retaliating and having um, judgment, but not only judgment. What is it that um, damn, avenge? It's gonna have revenge on these people. Why? Because they turned you into a monster when you were so sweet and kind and loving. Right? That's what I'm sensing. Not that you are a monster, Scorpio, because people don't know how. They don't know how to take the messages, okay? Not that you are a monster. I'm just saying, okay? When you hurt somebody so bad to the point that you can't take it anymore, you are going to retaliate, okay? Because we are human beings, okay? You definitely look like, damn, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to take hands, matters into my own hands. And sometimes I do. And you know what? It's not pretty. It's not pretty. When I, when I, when I do it in my hands, it's not pretty at all. But... When I command my angels to do something, they do it. <clears throat> All right, what's the message here? Oh, Scorpio, please and thank you, angels. So that's what I'm saying, Scorpio. You got the power, okay? I got the power. Yeah, yeah, light up, light up. Message for Scorpio. zero 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 just letting me know that you started from the beginning started from the beginning now we're here right <laughs> so you zero 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 is nothing you came from nothing from nothingness from the void okay so limitless potential so that means you have limited limit limited potential because you know how to read the binary numbers especially if you're dyslexia you know how to read numbers backwards and forward so you know how the computer is 01010100011. That's you, baby. You are the one that can read those numbers for some of you guys, okay? So we do have 66666, which is great blessings coming to you. All right, self-love, boundaries, 
you know, good vibe, wisdom, understanding, and letting go here, Scorpio. Nurture yourself, your needs, desires, and boundaries. Let go of things that are weighting you down. Make space for something meaningful and expand your spirit to all areas of your life. That big love, opportunity, or job needs to squeeze in somewhere because something is about to happen. You also got to comp compromise, okay? This number came out yesterday, 707. So you also got to compromise here, Scorpio. Um, forgive, okay? Forgiveness of yourself, empathy, tendency, and be free, right? Let go of what no longer serves you. Stop holding on to grudges. Express your emotions and aim toward a compromise. A compromise where there's a lack of understanding is best to just move on. The truth will set you free. And then we have 333. Three, three. See, you have the Ascended Masters again. This time you have four threes. I love when the angels come up and they give me the confirmation. <laughs> All right. So it says social skills, Scorpio. Hope, optimism, liberation, success, prosperity, and excitement. I feel like some of you guys are already liberated. Right? You guys are not tied to religion. You guys are not tied to Christianity. Um, you guys are not tied to stuff like that anymore because you are liberated. You're free to you're you're a free thinker. All right. And a lot of people don't like that, especially the least the governments. They don't like you for thinking for yourself. Right? So the problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to maintain a positive outlook on life since your luck may be able to change and we have changed it is time to put to use your captivity energy and inspirational personality don't let your ego get the best of you as i'm speaking i feel the vibration of my voice in the table on the table wow so yes yeah, scorpio great blessings compromise and social skills okay my loves all right scorps let's go ahead and get into how people view you how people view Scorpio, how they see my beautiful Scorpio, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit, how they view Scorpio, please and thank you, how they view Scorpio, please and thank you, they see you as the world, what they want in the Scorpio, what they want in the Scorpio, Lovers, what's the action? Page of Wands, what happened in the recent past? King of Cups, what's the outcome? Eight of Wands, Father showing up, the Most High is showing up, your Father Jesus Yeshua in Kiia is showing up, okay. All right, Scorpio, somebody had left you on the cold and got to say no more. No more. You're not going to be left out on the cold. You're not going to be um, fighting for love. You're not going to be um, stressing or having hardship. There's definitely a new opportunity that's coming in. This could be also new love, but this is tears of joy coming in. You're not going to be in poverty anymore, and you definitely are not going to be living um, paycheck to paycheck, and you're not going to be living in hardship again i just keep hearing that all right god has a plan for you and the plan is that a new beginning will start in your life 2024 okay definitely a new love as well but if it's not new love definitely a new beginning something new um something exciting and god is saying i got you i've been watching you okay yeah i feel like no more tears no more pain okay so how people view you the world people see People see you in higher places. Your name is being called or you are being um, asked in higher places. Also, a lot of people can see you in the internet. Um, you could be a public eye. So some of you guys could be, um, I don't know, singers, artists, whatever this is for you. But I feel like this could be a cycle that's about to close in your life. Or there's a new cycle that's about to open in your life, okay? Because the divine is showing up, Father showing up also see that you are committed to him and also is letting me know that you are definitely learn your lesson and you pass so many tests okay 
So the world, something is ending, something, a new beginning is starting, a, a new chapter in your life is about to open. That new beginning is about to start. Why? Because what they're wanting is God wants a relationship with you. Okay, the lovers, you are his child. When I see this, I see Adam and Eve. So he's letting me know that you are his child. He loves you, okay, unconditionally, all right? And he made you in his image. That's what I'm feeling. But this could be also a lover that's coming into your life, a new love. If you guys are wanting to have a relationship or some type of commitment, definitely a divine connection is coming in, all right? Woo, the action. You're about to get some good news, all right? Some type of message some type of email this would be exciting news this could be some type of passionate conversation here but something is coming in that you are going to be excited about this is a lot of passion and good news coming in scorpio okay in the recent past you had the king of cups this could be a pisces scorpio cancer or this could have been you sure always loving you i don't know why i feel that <laughs> i god is all around me <laughs> All right, Father. So, um, yeah, I just King of Cups is your ancestors. Okay, this could be your ascended masters again, the three, 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 the Holy Trinity. I feel right. Everybody read their cards differently, but because I have a higher knowledge and higher wisdom, I'm reading it as a spiritual thing. Okay, um, the outcome is the eight of one. So something quickly is happening. You're about to get messages. This is messages coming in, in and out, okay? But this is good news, but this is also the angels, not the angels, the universe, bringing these blessings to you. Whatever this is, Scorpio, is a blessing, okay? Uh, again, this could be love, this could be money, this could be whatever you want it to be, but there's definitely opportunity that's coming in because God loves you. I just hear that. <laughs> Father loves you, okay, all right. What is the world? So people are seeing you as the magician, baby. All right, they see you that you are definitely elevating, you are manifesting your reality. Okay, you definitely are making things happen. Your imagination is real, your imagination is running wild. Okay, so we have the imagination card right here, right? Right, the imagination card. So, the imagination card. So, it says, Embrace and nourish what your creative aspect of your mind. And what you can do with it. So definitely something about you creating. The, the world means you're creating something in the world. People starting to see something about you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely good karma. Okay. Things are being aligned in your favor. Use your intuition to set your most compass as well. This is also truth and clarity. Um, cause and effect. So cause and effects could be the law of attraction as well. Definitely some balances that's coming into your life and things are being fair, Scorpio. Things are definitely being fair, okay? Hallelujah here. <laughs> but to praise God. All right, what else? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. I told you, I felt it. Yeah, something is about to be fair. Everything in your fruits and your wisdom from all stages of life, everything that you always wanted, you're about to be a legacy. Inheritance are coming in, security, family, prosperity, and you're going to have success, okay? So there's definitely a new chapter that's opening up your life, okay? And money's coming in. Queen of Pentacles, like, you're going to be set, baby. And I'm not saying this is a, a, a taxes, because <laughs> I know tax season's around. No, it's not. Th this is more than taxes, baby. More than taxes. What is the lovers? Wow. This is beautiful. Yeah, taking the because you've been taking leap of faith, baby. You spread your wings and you fly. You got the freedom. You have wonders. You anticip anticipated this new journey that you're opening up now. You definitely have this mindset, Scorpio, that you're focusing on something. All right. You're definitely having the victory over your enemies here, my loves. Okay, so you're focusing on something. Okay, these people could have been very selfish. Uh, they could have been very aggressive to you. They could have been um, argumental, um, used to try to bring you some type of conflict, or they could have been self-sabotaging your connection or your relationship with them. As friends, lover, family, it doesn't matter. But I feel like you are focusing on something, and that's why they are so mad. Yeah, they feel like, you know, they could be missing the friendship that you have or the relationship or the connection that you have. Some people are definitely grieving, and they could be lost. And they could have self-pity and they could be in this despair or, or have disappointment here because they tried to beat you in a competition or they tried to bring some conflict and you took a step forward. 
what is the page of wands here so the action is you're about to get good news baby some type of exciting news exciting moment here S exciting message oh my god scorpio <laughs> yeah yeah oh and then you got the queen of pentacles again so money coming in not only money but abundance abundance of love abundance of peace you know say some of you guys are definitely going to be buying some house moving to a new house um definitely going to be purchasing a large amount of this could be a large amount of money that's coming to you to purchase because you are moving all right again you, you this is good news baby you might be getting a, a, a news about a house that you was approved for a house scorpio you can't look abundance you the empress baby god feels like you deserve this this is your blessing be happy with the result of your action all right i feel like be ready for the opportunity you worked for so god is about to give you the opportunity that you work for whatever this is that's why i feel like the king of cup is you're sure jesus <laughs> that's what i feel well we'll see what happened in the recent past who is this king of cups look look look, look who's popping up <laughs> All right, who is this King of Cups? King of Cups? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, no more pain, no more tears. The, the how you say it, the betrayal is over. This is the ending of a hurt situation. Um, is an ending and a, and a finishing for the better or the worse. So whoever tried to ruin you, whoever tried to bring failure into your life, that's no more hopelessness because you are the high priestess and this is letting me know that you are aware you have discernment you have all the spiritual gifts so you can be aware of everything of the decepticons and the deceit and people that try to be fake friends to you that you could be able to defend yourself right and fight for what you believe right and cut people out of your life okay so i just feel like father cut people out of your life that try to bring deceit into your life right try to come and bring some challenges ahead of you to face them but because you're the high priestess you learn your lesson and you pass your test baby because now your third eye is open right and you trust in yourself now you also got the witness the wisdom and you are very aware of your intuition so oh wow okay what is the outcome? The eight of one. So this is blessings coming to you from the universe. All right. Miracles. Messages coming really fast. Oh my God, Scorpio. Queen of Wands. You're still going to be looking amazing. You're going to be a go-getter. Okay. This is judgment. Okay. Look, Father's showing up again. All right. Just want to let you know, hey, you're, you're being judged, but for good things. Okay. Thank you for being such a wonderful person. Um, thank you for working for me. I'm here and work. Uh, you're about your father's business. Thank you so much. Even though I threw challenges in your life, I threw obstacles in your life, but you still kept faithful to me. And that's why you're about to be rewarded. Okay. I feel like your life is about to be restored, Scorpio. Okay. You got the Knight of Cups. So this is wishes, fulfillment, wishes coming true. Again, I just said that blessings, miracles, everything has turned out well enjoy your success so you're about to join enjoy your success i do see that some of you guys could be collaborating with people places and things this could be you having your own business and have your own um employees co-workers all right um you have reached for help and now help is on its way um you are definitely going to have the victory at the end baby so yeah be grateful and thankful for father for showing up you have earned every one of your successes wow okay i just feel like I told you god was all around here i told you god i could feel him look the hierophant okay the hierophant again like father was showing up all right everything was going to be working now in your favor because you triumphal over your enemies all right Okay, what is the spiritual message of Scorpio, please? Unconditional love. <laughs> oh, my heart is free from resentment towards others. I open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being. I am aware that suffering can cause distress 
and hurting people. I see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness. Definitely practice forgiveness, my love, okay? Learning to love myself. I choose to see the beauty in me. My wealth lies in my nature and potential. I transform my weaknesses into strength. I realize that I am being of light and I allow myself to shine. Again, blue and green is going to be very significant as well. So some of you guys love turquoise color. If you do, blue and green, this is ascension as well. This is your blueprint, your soul blueprint, okay? So this is definitely something that you're going to be um, probably seeing or wearing. Some of you guys are going to be wearing like turquoise colors, blue colors, okay? Let me know in the comment if that's your favorite color, okay? Because I do see that it's coming out. With that said, my love, I'm going to leave it here. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if this is something that resonates with you. I will be um, reaching out to each email um, yeah, that, that asks for personal readings. I'm going to see if you guys would like to do the GoFundMe because it's still going to go to my account no matter what. Um, if you guys are really needing urgent reading. Okay, with that said, I love you and i see you in the next one. Bye, Scorpio. Chosen ones. You're the bait. You're the bait. <laughs>